my lovely YouTube viewers. Happy Monday. As you can see, I am laying here on my couch. I promised myself that I would do a video every Monday, but if I went into my room where I usually do my filming, I would probably just go to bed. Also, I'm lazy and don't feel like walking to my room. Plus, it's cold again, and there's a fire in this room. There is no fire in my room. Ogram is asleep at my feet right now. He's probably going to start snoring anytime soon. This week, I would like to share with you an analogy that helps explain what it feels like to battle an eating disorder for people who have never had one before. I did not come up with this analogy, however. I am borrowing it from someone else because, well, I get tired of talking about my own ideas. I think about them all day long. I met this amazing, amazing woman a couple weeks ago, and this analogy was actually created by her. She is battling her eating disorder in outpatient therapy so that she can stay committed to her husband and to her kids, which I think is amazing. She is so inspiring to watch, and I was just blown away and I absolutely loved this analogy and she graciously allowed me to use it on today's video. First of all, I want you to imagine your greatest fear. For example, spiders or roller coasters or mayonnaise or dark caves. And if you have no fears, well, I'm sorry, then this exercise will just not help you. So you better just wait till next Monday. But think of your greatest fear and hold that in your mind. So I'm going to use the example of roller coasters. Imagine that you're looking at a gigantic roller coaster. There is no freaking way you want to get on that roller coaster. But all the people who you love and trust most in the entire world are standing behind you saying this roller coaster will not be enjoyable but your life will be so much better if you go on this roller coaster and you're thinking to yourself no it won't and then professionals join the people you love standing behind you and say you're not okay right now but this roller coaster if you go on this roller coaster it will make you okay all you have to do is get on it and it'll make you okay you will live such a better life if you get on this roller coaster you will be healthier, you will be happier. Say you're afraid of spiders? Well, there's a tarantula sitting on the table in front of you. And your relatives, your friends, professionals, therapists, healthcare providers, all the people that you trust are telling you, I promise you, your life will be so much better if you just pet that spider. Now say your biggest fear is food. And all the people you love and trust and professionals and therapists are all saying your life will be so much better if you just eat the food but it's like telling someone who's afraid of spiders that all they have to do is pet the spider and their life will be better you have to decide what is more important to you your own fear which is very real although it may not be logical it is very real or the voices of everyone around you telling you that if you just conquer your fear, just step on the goddamn roller coaster, or just touch that itty bitty little spider, your life will be so much better. And you have to weigh out which makes more sense to you. But I encourage all of you out there this week to get on some roller coasters and to pet those spiders because you can do it. I know you can. Thank you to my wonderful, strong, amazing, beautiful, inspiring friend for letting me use your analogy. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Kudos from Silent Girl for watching. And now, I'm going to bed.